All right, so we got back in last night. I drove here, drove to my dad's house. So this morning, we're gonna go get the bike, we're gonna pick it up, and he's gonna finally get his new bike. So let's get going. Put the bike rack on uh, their car today. It's really sweet. Alright guys, so we're here at Worldwide Soccer. We're gonna pick up the bike right now, so let's go get it. So we get your bike? Me? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I can wait a week. I can, I can lose 10 more pounds and then I'll be ready. <laughs> He's ready. He's actually lost, I think, seven more pounds since we've been here last. So. How do I lift it out of the ride? Just straight up? I just want to feel the weight of it. Yeah. How does it feel? This is stupid. It's stupid light or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. You were concerned about the weight a little bit? No, I know the tires are, um, I think, a half pound heavier between them both uh -huh. because of the, the, the type of tire they are. And uh, the gear sits like a quarter pound heavier. Um, and I, and it were, I, I didn't weigh these, but uh, so I was afraid it was going to be, you know, a pound or two heavier than the other one, but the, the one I first picked up. Oh, okay. So you're comparing it to the first one. Exactly. What do you think of the Renthal bars? Because you were concerned uh, about honestly, the paint well, job. I'm not, a, I'm not a label guy. I would just have, I would prefer to have everything blacked out. I, I'm not an advertising guy. You know, I hate that. So that's why I was like, yeah, hey, I want to go with the race face because they're all blacked out. You know, yeah. Le less less advertising. That's, but um, it's okay. I mean, it's, it, it's, 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 it's a big mess of different <laughs> decals and all that, but it's, it's, it's nice. It'll all come together. <laughs> What's the stuff that you guys put in the inner tubes? Inner tubes? Uh, yeah. They put not uh, the inner tubes, but the tires themselves, the, the sealer. Yeah, the uh, orange sealant. Okay, so do they have that? Do they have that here, or do we need to buy that? Um, I could ask them. You know, that's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll buy. I'll, I'll pick that up, and that's something that you know I should get right away. You should be good for the next three months, though. Easy. Really? I don't. I don't like taking a chance. I don't want to carry the bike back off, off a trail. <laughs> Being only 30 pounds is a lot, a lot lighter than my pack. Back in the old days, this is what I used to do. Just. Carry it, when carry it like that. Yep. yep. Just carry it, carry it over log or whatever I had to avoid. I never followed trails back then. I just went. Okay. Now you said they the servicing this. What does it take? You don't know what it takes to service them? No. You can. I'm sure not can let you know. But yeah, you got to service that every uh, uh, three to six months or something what like is that. It? They put white lithium grease in these uh, holes or in, in this in this component right here, the actual switch oh, infinity okay. thing. Oh, That's, holy cow. Yeah, those are tacky. Yeah. How I, hard are they to keep clean? Yeah, I think you'd just be more concerned about wearing them down, if anything. Oh, okay. I had back surgery seven months ago, and now I'm starting to hike again, and it's kind of hard on my knees because I like, mm. I don't like, I like going up hills. Yeah, I don't yeah. like, you know, walking straight uh, trails. So I'm, at, when I'm on rocky terrain, and it's it's beating my knees up, and I need something. Yeah. My doctor keeps saying you need to get out to doing something to exercise, and uh, I don't like treadmills. I just I like getting out and doing something. Yeah, so. it's, I I was a jogger, and then I my knees went out, and I yeah. So then I started mountain biking. So. Oh, how long ago was that? Gosh, that was. 15, 20 years ago. Okay, yeah. okay. So, and that's that's what I'm hoping that maybe this could. Uh, I, there's a there's a lot of trails by my house, and I never knew that. Mm. So it's like just get. I'm, I'm, those are the trails I'm hiking. I'm looking. Where are all these mountain bikes going? You know. <laughs> and there's a big 10 uh, mile loop. Excellent. Yeah, that's and it's perfect. it's got some great elevation height ups and downs, and mm -hmm. so I'm like, yeah, that. Yeah, just start slow. No, I'm not worried about endurances. I'm worried about my capacity or being able to handle the bike or on the dirt, le relearning the skill or, yeah. you know, back then, I mean, they didn't have bikes like this. I mean, well, they, they kind of did, but it was very, not as much, you know. It's different muscles too, so it yeah. take you a while. You'd be surprised over just weeks how, how I, stronger you get. You, you know? know, I understand that, yeah. yeah. I, I've seen that with hiking, so. Mm -hmm. So what is it you've been through these past? You had back surgery, how long ago? <laughs> Seven months ago. Seven months ago, so how do you feel now? I'm, I'm feeling better. But uh, I could feel a lot better. <laughs> the, but the surgeon didn't do, he didn't get accomplished what he wanted to accomplish. So I'm, just, that's why it's taking so long to heal or if I'm ever gonna heal. So I just gotta do something with low impact with my back for the rest of my life. Or I told him I'll see him in, a, in another five months if, I don't, if I'm not happy the way, with what I, 
with the way I, that I feel. My disc has um, expanded into my sciatic slightly, you know, where before it was into my spinal cord. So I'm, I'm better. I mean, I'm better. So I want to. I want to do more. I need to get healthier. I got to get off the couch. You know, I got. I, like I said, that's what the doctors want me to do. Here we are. Yep. So here we are, getting them off the couch. What do you think of the brakes? How they look on there? Hey man, they just need to work. They, they just look need big. to work, right? <laughs> a lot bigger than the other ones, or the other bikes. So that's that's what I like. I like good brakes. Yeah, man. Okay, now I'm excited. All right. <laughs> wait, are you excited now? It sunk yeah, in. <laughs> it's, 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 I can't wait. Yeah, it's, there's too much to do. Too, too many places to go. You get a lot quicker. Get places a lot quicker than hiking with the backpack and all that. Yeah, I was talking to my brother, my brother, and he was saying because he likes to hike, but he was thinking about it the other day. He was like, "Well, wait a second. With mountain biking, you go." up the hill what you like doing and then you also look even more forward to going down the hill because it's like when you hike you're like oh i'm going up the hill and and you're excited to go up the hill and now you're up and you're like all excited and then you think huh now i gotta walk down it but it's the opposite it's even more exciting for a mountain bike rider i just thought that was a good point <laughs> what do you think of her so far <laughs> I kept saying, I go, dude, give me a picture of it. Give me a picture of it yesterday. And uh, he kept going through his camera. Oh, I don't got one here. He, he didn't want to have one on the cell phone. He didn't have a good camera uh, picture on his camera. I'm like, dang. Then he had a, a video, a short video of them writing it in the back. And that was the closest I could get to looking at it. But mm -hmm. yeah, you, you you want to look at it. I mean, I, I wanted I wanted it all blacked out. You know what I mean? I'm not about the colors and all that. But it, it really, from a distance, it isn't that right. So yeah unless it's on the back of a truck and it, i don't want anybody to steal it that's the problem that's my biggest thing so i even thought about maybe insuring it too that'd be a good idea yes yeah, so how many people do they do that or do you guys uh know people that um, not 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 the insurance companies but do you know anybody that's insures their their bikes yeah actually a lot of our customers insure their okay, bikes yeah all of the guys here too their family members too okay i know zach his dad has had quite a few bikes stolen. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, them, so. for the year, I think it's only like almost a 10% investment or even less than that Yeah. For the, for the cost of the bike. So I think that's worth it. Even, I was reading an article, the guy had it on his back and somebody rear-ended him and just <laughs> broke the frame, the mm -hmm. fork, everything. I mean, his bike was done. You yeah. know, who pays for that? The guy took off. Yeah, you know? it was uh, kind of funny you say that. The customer we had the other day had the same issue. Yeah. He ended up coming in and buying a bike, but his uh, renter's insurance actually covered that. That's what so. I hear. Rent insurance. I don't have. I have homeowners insurance, and they only cover up to so much. Mm -hmm. And you have to list the bike to be covered under it. But yeah. renters covers a little bit more. That that's what I heard. I read that too. That was kind of funny that you said that. But let's let's uh yeah let's see what's yeah, that's, that. Okay. What uh what size uh were these cut down toning or no? What to uh, are these no seven eighty or seven eighty? I think they're eight hundreds. No. Yeah. This this one with uh no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, just, when, you, when you put the grips on too, they don't always. Yeah, go they go to the yeah, end. No, no, so I understand. It adds that. a little bit, but no, no I, it's wide. Wider, I, it really, this isn't that wide to me. That's why I was just mentioning it. So he was saying he liked uh, the 780s, but I, I believed if you ordered this online or whatever, if you didn't cut the bars out, they're 800. Yeah. I mean, I could be wrong. Am I right about that? Or? Yeah, I think they have 800. I think they even make 780s. The too. set, the 780s is the 31.8 or the the smaller stem. Yeah. Or the, you know what I mean? The, the, the 35 millimeter. Is that what this is? 35 millimeter? Yeah, I was going to 35. Yeah, millimeter. that is an 800. So. Yeah, I can't. I mean, it didn't feel like an 800, but I mean, maybe it is. Who knows? Oh, my brakes. I'm excited about my brakes. That's all I care about. <laughs> when I ordered this, that's all I wanted. You got it? Oh, this is okay. okay. <laughs> Let's see. And there he goes. How's it feel? Oh, it feels off. I can feel that type of thing. You didn't even know until like through. Yeah, that shot takes a lot of energy out of you, you know? The well, what? no, because when it's. When it's too soft, you know. I think it's definitely too soft right now. Yeah. Um, actually, I mean, I don't mind it. I mean, it's probably gonna be yeah. nice on the road, but yeah. I don't know how you guys set these up. So basically, Yetis are set up. Um, you want it to be 30% static in the front, 30% in the rear. Yeah. See, I almost collapsed that just on the right there because I had it all the way up. Holy crap! Right. And then you can step off. So as you can see, that's. Maybe Way about more. like 50 yeah. percent, so we definitely have add some pressure in there. So you right. 200, let's see how that does. Yeah, that already looks better. And then you can go ahead and step off. That looks about right. Yeah, so that's where it should be. Okay. Alright, now you can step off. 
That actually looks about right. Okay. Yeah, that's so, a. I'd, I'd run it around now and see how okay. everything feels together. Definitely like, different muscles, man. <laughs> yep, definitely different muscles. Yeah, my I took I took my friend the other day out mountain bike riding. He's like, yeah, I got it, no problem. Like, you know, I, I run like eight miles a day, no issue. And he got on the bike, couldn't even handle a mile. Completely different muscle group. Yeah, it is a race bike. Yeah, no, it's and built race bread. <laughs> Can I check it out? It's not all the way down. Cool, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem, man. Real quick, what helmet are you getting? Pac. Pac. That one. This one. What is this? Yeah, it was that, or I don't know what else. They had colored ones, but I like the black. No, of course, of course you like the black. No, I heard a guy. I was just hearing somebody talking about this helmet the other day on a uh, MTV podcast, and he says he smashed his front head in, had a concussion, and he believes that that helmet right there and how thick it is is what saved his head. <laughs> Man. Oh. Since he crunched the foam all the way down, he was just talking about how much he appreciated how. The, the foam system works in that thing. If I hit my head that hard, I'd break my neck probably. Uh, you got a pretty body. thick neck. You're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I need to carry about a 40 pound pack in general. So this thing weighs 30 pounds. So it's a start. Right on. All right. Let's get going. Let's go on the trail. Let's go ride. Let's go do something fun. <laughs> All right, man. You guys have a good one. Thanks for the ride yesterday, man. It was good. And that's it. As it keeps somebody from ripping it off when you're driving down the road. When you're driving? Off. Yeah, you're like if you're stopped in traffic. That's my biggest nightmare. Somebody grabbing it while you're in, in traffic. Um, <laughs> there it is. Cool Miss Daisy. All aboard. Alright guys, so we just picked up the bike, we're going to Starbucks, we're going to be out going for a ride pretty soon, and we're going to uh, just follow my dad on his first ride. He's going to take it easy, it's going to, like, he's just getting into this, I mean, he is stoked on it, obviously, he wants to really take this thing to the next level by the bike he wanted to get, so, but yeah, he's just got to train those muscles, you know what I mean, and he's, and he, he's, he was really kind of trying to push himself right now on the bike when we were at Worldwide Cycle Re to kind of feel like where he needs to be. Um, and what you know pains he could be expecting and stuff like that so he is you know his whole thing is he's fighting and he's gonna continue to fight it you know he doesn't say a lot of things on camera or whatever but he I think his mentality is he wants to do this he's gonna go at it as full as hard as he can but he's got he's gonna do it as wise as he can as well you know I'm gonna take him out to Santa Rosa Plateau out in Temecula and I think it'd be a great place for him to start a lot of flat ground a lot of flat dirt just so he can get his feet wet so I can't wait to get out there so I think we should get out there and get going right now before we do that just a little quick one run down of the bike again um, he's got Fox 34 in the front factory uh, Kashima plated uh, front and rear suspension and he's got SRAM GX drivetrain with the uh, SRAM guide RSC's on there with the uh, carbon fat bar so this thing is like I don't know this is a nice build to me me being in mountain bike riding this is like this is when it's done right so worldwide cycle did a great job Max's DHF in the front and the rear 2.5 and a 2.4 so i think that'd be good for him and his size right now all right guys so we're out here in santa rosa plateau here with the dad obviously so we're going to be doing the first ride today here at santa rosa perfect place just to bring beginners and everything like that so we're going to get out we're going to get on the chair we're going to see how we what he thinks of his bike you know what i mean it's the first ride so it's pretty exciting so we're going to get his impressions and all that stuff like that and you know i have not seen my dad do anything active in like years so this is a really big moment well so i i, I did a hike last night and i'm like thinking yeah man i worked some muscles i must have pushed myself hard but then I come to come to find out, I think I'm hurt. I'm feeling new muscles just riding the bike in the parking lot. Oh, so shoot. now I got scared. I'm like thinking, what's it gonna be like through pushing through dirt now? Now and that, that's what has me worried. I kept watching these guys, you know, climb these hills that I'm hiking up. I'm like, well, what's the advantage of having a bike climbing a hill versus hiking it? And I kept thinking, there's got to be some type of mechanical advantage. And but it's not. In the physical standpoint, you're using the same amount of energy to get up the hill, you gotta use the same energy. If you're going faster, you're using more energy. You're just using it faster, but it's the same amount of energy. So now I'm worried. I'm really worried about little hills on this bike. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so good stuff. Let's get out there and actually see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Caps on. Yeah. All right, so we finished the first run. What did you think? 
we went halfway through it you know checking out no uh, my knees don't hurt at all so the cardio is perfect it's what the doctor ordered i like it you get there quicker it's more you put your using more power quicker which is great so shorter rides until i get better <laughs> so no i it was fun my knees don't hurt but i can't say that about my a-hole or, or my butt <laughs> so only time will tell so that was fun beautiful up here so nice easy trail granny trail grandpa trail <laughs> so that's it's perfect so i guess i'll let you kick your kick my butt after kicking your butt your whole life growing up so so there you go tony all right guys so we just finished a quick little run so that was his first impressions you know so we got a lot of growing to grow from here but he did that's awesome he did a good job actually powered through some tough sections and uh, yeah so i'll bring you guys more and i'll keep updating you guys in regards to the progress of it all so guys just remember like share and subscribe it's tony then to be dropping and here we combine mental health and mountain biking to promote healthy lives and in individuals suffering from trauma so guys thank you for watching i'll catch you guys next time